Uh, I know how this works. Let's just chop it up. <laughs> hey, uh, I'll be... <laughs> you might be right. Hey, I'll be I'll be sampled in the next mustard hit. Um... <laughs> Well, this is at least one. I think two because uh, social issues. Oh, oh yeah, social, yeah, social. Issues. Okay. So, do today's female rappers? Because think- I don't want to cook people. That's why I don't want to talk about social issues. People get cooked, and then and then and then the whole party goes to waste. Okay. So uh, the story is it's a story of a couple of days ago, and it goes as follows. I don't know how today's female rappers empower women. Can someone gen? So the the woman is is saying the following, and I quote: "Can someone genuinely explain it to me? I'm a 25 year old African American woman from a middle class background. I'm currently in Germany, living together with my boyfriend. Today, his cousin, him, and I got into a discussion." They said that female rappers like Cardi B, Lotto, and Sexy Red, in a lot of ways, empower women to be more confident and feel more liberated to be a slut. That's uh, in quotation mark. Uh, dot. That's from the, the quote. Uh, it's a quote that he's reading, quote, just to be yeah, sure. Yeah, so yeah. liberated to be a slut. Yeah, um, yeah. They argue that now right, women... Feel... <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, if they want to get me, they will... Uh, I know how this works. Let's just chop it up. <laughs> hey, I'll be... <laughs> you might be right. Hey, I'll be I'll be sampled in the next mustard hit. Um... <laughs> now, nah, uh, and I'll continue. They argue that now women feel more confident about their bodies, and that hmm. to be uh, to be liberated shouldn't carry any moral weight. So to sleep amazing. Around. I highly disagree and really don't know what they're talking about. I agree women should 100% feel confident to be um, liberated intimately, but to be called a slut, I think that's an offensive term, just like narcissistic is an offensive term. And it would be mind-blowing if people started trying to normalize narcissism. Honestly, with whatever definition of that same word, in the dictionary you want to go with, I don't even think most of these female rappers are perpetuating that. So I don't understand how they say rappers are normalizing it. Hey, I, I uh, feel like a football player, man, standing on the sideline. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, where did I see this before? Uh, in my pers- in my perspective, a lot of female rappers just seem hypersexualized, and while they can be as sexual as they want. I don't know how it empowers women. Almost all of these rappers, female rappers, have the same body type, the exact same body type, most from various surgeries, and I feel like it sets unrealistic expectations for women. (laughs) I'm all for empowering my sisters, but I feel like the microcosm that is female rap is primarily focused on uh, sexuality directly in reference to the male gaze that's interesting like if you want to be liberated i feel like all women have the right to do so but in the context that all of these women have bodies that seem to just appeal to males i don't know how it's empowering i mean absolutely which no- males by the way but because i mean absolutely no disrespect and i apologize if any of this came out as such i am really just trying to genuinely understand if i'm missing something here kr your thoughts keywords in the beginning she said he's a black female what is she else what else did she say a middle class background Uh uh-huh uh-huh that means yes her angle of looking at things are very different do, do I are you asking me do I agree with her yeah so what so yeah, what, what do you think uh, I her... think her boyfriend is a normie her boyfriend is a normie yes and no, she I is see. the enlightened one of the two okay. because she is seeing things for what they are do you think the boyfriend really believes what he's saying or 
do you think he's saying what he thinks he's supposed to be saying if if your boyfriend and girlfriend you can talk the truth to each other well sharing if, the real if you if cannot you are, share the real if you're if you're speaking in in shalala manga words to to your significant other and you cannot talk about real social issues I think something there's something wrong there but maybe that's me yeah so what I'll say is that uh, I think what she's saying I that's what I feel um, yeah. one of the most great things I heard so what I like about Cardi B is when she starts talking because of course she has that that unique way of talking but when she starts talking about let's say social issues etc but not from a from a um, politician's perspective or scholar's perspective but she can just talk it like very straightforward you know like um you know how empowered how empowering no, she is no no but i'm saying okay. when she said when she she said what are these rules in new york i'm even new york and and then when she goes to talk, she's very influential So I think that to me, when I saw her talking uh, and and let's say addressing certain issues, it that to me was the most empowering I've seen her. Mm. But all the other things about um, WAP WAP and having to see those poor, poor sign language uh, translators needing to translate WAP. You, you know how empowering she yeah, thinks she is why do you she think? once said in the interview she don't play her own songs when her kids is around she doesn't or does doesn't that tells you a lot about what she knows what she's portraying so she knows she has a bad influence because if someone is good if if you're playing a song that might have good influence on the kid you're gonna play it because it doesn't harm the kid but you clearly know that your your music is harmful it destroys the mind actually and how everything should be perceived i do think the girl is right i think the 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 the, the and and again every everyone is has a right to their own opinion people might think it's empowering other people might think it's not but you cannot tell me that um the the that rappers in general not even female rappers in general general always are, are are drawn drawn out of a stereotype female yeah. rappers like she said hypersexualized uh, male rappers highly goon goon ish go uh, 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 playing a, a gangster role and this is what kids within a certain demographic C and copy which results later on in dysfunction in the community and then people ask themselves why is there dysfunction in the community because this is the, the that is all the, what these kids see they don't see anything else that than rappers bow jangling and and tap dancing on the uh, on on the 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 stage playing a stereotype they start co- copying that stereotype and before you know it no one is uh, 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 adding any t- value to anyone which rappers were tap dancing I'll, I'll, i can name a few and not literally tap dancing yeah, okay, then these, I these, these, these then dudes I are out there playing stereotypes then I, get what you you think, mean. I don't think that's that's a good thing for any community do you see do you, why what have you have you seen uh have you seen no i'm not gonna say it. yeah i i do think i do think at the at the end of the day these these rappers are are just playing a stereotype and i don't think any stereotype is a good one it's never good it's always negative yeah why do you think i always ask this why do you think perception is everything perception is everything why do you think that cops in addition to 
of course them being not favorable toward blacks but if if the picture they always see everyone sees is a is a guy running around in a video clip showing showing his blicky sh- doing all these things what do you think is ingrained in people's minds mm-hmm. which is a sad thing i don't like it yeah, yeah but in this case they're, they're talking specifically about the female rappers as it's well. the same it's the same i'm talking about males but with females it's all uh, uh shaking shaking booty and all that stuff what yeah, do they see when they see another black woman yeah they assume I... they also shake booties <laughs> 